Today I'm at Tosai Tableware Ceramic Shop, located on Chawanzaka Street, near Kiyomizu Dera Temple. Hello, Yamada-san. Hi, Greg-san. Please take off your shoes and come up. Yamada-san, thank Hi. you for taking time out of your busy schedule today to Not at all. talk to us about uh, Tosai. Yeah. Um, so there are many uh, mm -hmm. ceramics shops in yes, Kyoto that's right. uh, with long traditions. Mm -hmm. How long has Tosai been around? Well, uh, my grandfather made his uh, studio for making ceramics in 1919. And then my father uh, made a shop for selling in Tokyo, in Ginza, in 1936. Wow. So Ginza in Tokyo uh, would be along the same lines as, say, a Fifth Avenue in New York. Mm, that, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I've never been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, finally, uh, in uh, 2000, uh, I, uh, I made this shop in Kyoto. And uh, uh, originally, uh, this place was my parents' house. On the outside, Tosai looks like a house, but there is a noreng, or curtain, hanging over the entrance, and this marks it as a shop. And once you pass through it, you'll see some ceramics to your left. And as you go deeper into the garden, you'll see the rest of the ceramics. So you probably get this question a lot, mm -hmm. but what does Tosai sell? Well, Tosai specializes in ceramic tableware for Japanese food. Um, for example, uh, sake bottles, rice bowls, and chopsticks uh, holders, teacups, and dishes. Okay, so here, come. So Yamada-san, I see on this shelf here, uh, we have some sake cups yeah, yeah. and bottles? Yeah, that's right. These are sake cups, and these are uh, sake containers, except these two. But, uh, these are especially for cold sake. Mm -hmm. We call them choshi. Choshi. That's right. For cold sake. That's right. And these, uh, these are bottles, and we call them uh, tokuri. Tokuri. Yeah, and they are f uh, f for uh, hot sake. For hot sake. That's right. These are for beer. Ah, okay. Yeah, and this has nut glaze, uh, especially inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it makes the bubble really smooth, and it makes taste really nice. And you put this one in a freezer directly, and, and drink it. It's really, you have a nice time. Wow, the beer sounds very <laughs> delicious. I noticed there's um, a little sake cup with some gold inside. Yeah. This is uh, real gold. Wow. And outside gold leaf. Is gold leaf. Seems That's like right. bizen. And the color is from firing. And this contrast is really interesting. Oh, so yeah. bizen would be another type of ceramics, Japanese ceramics. Yeah, style. that's uh, stoneware, and it's very famous in uh, maybe worldwide. <laughs> Does the gold leaf come off? Um, yes, but uh, little by little. But don't worry, the gold leaf isn't harmful for, uh, to to your body. Together with the aforementioned pieces, Tosai also sells decorative plates, flower vases, teapots, hot pot dishes and even unique serving dishes and cups. I understand there are mm. many different types of ceramic styles in yes. Japan. Tosai specializes in kyoyaki. Yeah. Can you tell us what kyoyaki is? Well, kyoyaki is the Japanese word for Kyoto ceramics. And I hear that uh, it's a special style ceramics mm. heavily influenced by the taste of Japanese aristocrats in That's the right, past. That's right. That's right. Can you show us uh, a good example of a kyoyaki piece? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, this one. Yeah, this one is urban wear and uh, it has uh, upper glaze painting. And there are many colors and very thin. And also, I and hear that light. Uh, most kyoyaki pieces are mm -hmm. handmade yes. and hand painted. That's right. You're right. We do like that. You, you also at Tosai uh, hand paint and hand that's make right, everything. Right. Also, uh, in the Gojozaka, Chawanzaka area, mm -hmm. you see many ceramic producers, yes, um, retailers, and wholesalers. Yes. Um, how about in Tosai's case? Well, I think Tosai is really unique because we both 
produce and selling our things, uh, everything. And uh, so everything is our original things mm, that you see, you're seeing. So all the pieces are original to that's Tosa. Right, that's right, that's right. And actually, uh, usually I uh, don't show our workshop, but uh, how, how about have a, uh, come and look, look at our workshop today. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. So this is where we do over grace painting. And I'll introduce my younger sister, Noriko Yamakawa. Noriko. <laughs> Hello, Noriko. <laughs> so, how do you hand paint the designs mm -hmm. onto your pieces? Uh, for, for example, uh, she, now she's painting cherry blossoms for, for dishes. Okay, so it looks like she's... Transferring the pattern onto the plate. So... So at the beginning, she should do like that, and after that, she begin to paint by freehand. Oh, okay. Mm. So it basically um, transfers a pattern onto the That's plate, right. That's right. and Painting then she can paint the pattern, filling in uh, with real gold. That's real gold. Yes, this is real gold. Hundred percent real gold. Wow. How long do you think it would take to finish this piece, for example? Well, she finished little by little. Oh. Sa same, same place and same place. So she doesn't finish one by one. And for example, when it's finished, what does it look like? This is the final one. It's a sample, so a little bit dirty. But anyway, it became like this. Hmm, interesting. And we use this one for Japanese cake and so on. After she finishes painting in the color, um, yeah. what happens next? Well, so uh, firing. So we have two electric kiln here, and this is uh, the kiln for overglaze painting. <coughs> now that I've shown you the, uh, our workshop, let's go back to uh, storefront. Gregson. Yeah, so what do we have here? Uh, this this really old lamp and that lamp shade mm -hmm. uh, we can see in famous uh, uh, director Oz Yasujiro's film. Oh, he was uh, a famous Japanese director. That's right. Uh, just before um, yeah. Akira Kurosawa. That's right. And made uh, such films as uh, Tokyo Story. That's right. You, you know very much. <laughs> Uh, I'll show you something. So, Gilson, uh, come and have a look of these Yunomis. We can see these cups in Ozuyasujiro's films. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these are remakes that's of right. the originals used in uh, his film. That's right, that's right. Okay. And I'll show you the, <coughs> the magazine. Oh, so we have uh, director Ozu here. Yeah, that's right. And the same two cups. That's right, that's right. And I also heard that uh, your father Mm -hmm. uh, was an on-set advisor to yes, right, director right. Ozu. Of course, uh, I've never met him, but uh, anyway, my father told me <coughs> about his uh, story uh, some, sometimes when he get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and there, there must be, you know, uh, uh, some Japanese fans who, who come to the shop here. That's right. <coughs> uh, there are so many fan, fans in, in fan clubs, and they want to see this this one and they want to buy these Yunomis. That's right. We have a good 
business. Wow, so that's a pretty uh, interesting connection yes. that、uh, Tosai has with、uh, Director Ozu. That's right. So, Yamada san, thank you for taking us on a tour of Tosai.、Mm, you're welcome. And teaching us about、uh, some of the Japanese、uh, tableware ceramics. I thought it was、uh, really interesting about the connection between Director yeah. Ozu yeah.、Uh, and your father and Tosai. That's right. And also,、um, I thought about how, even for some of the Western、mm-hmm. um, households, You could use, say, the chopstick holders for、uh, knives so or forks. Fork. Also, that's right. And for example, this one is、uh, sake bottle, but、mm-hmm. uh, you can use this one as a flower vase. Ah, you put the flowers inside. That's right, that's right. For everyone、uh, coming to Kyoto, please drop by Tosai. I'm looking forward to seeing you. And for all the viewers watching,、um, for more details about Tosai and other Kyoto information,、um, have a look at handsonkyoto.com. Thank you for watching.